Hello friends and welcome back to another video. We're going to jump right into it and today I am inking up my pens with fall ink colors. This first one is going to be, I guess, a reddish brown, orange brown, and I have Van Diamond's Leatherwood Honey, Ferris Wheel Press Ottoman Auburn, Diamine's Gingerbread, and Diamine's Brandy Snap. I took to Instagram and asked everyone to vote on my stories about which one would be their top pick. And in this group of colors, Autumn and Auburn was the winner. It was a very close call. Diamine Gingerbread was second place. And my personal favorite pick was Leatherwood Honey, but it didn't win. Leatherwood Honey and Autumn and Auburn are very close, so I'm not too mad about it. Autumn and Auburn is first place so I am going to ink that into my favorite pen of all time and that is the Sailor Pro Gear Cafe Crema pen. I do want to pick a second color of these and I'm really glad that Diamine Gingerbread won because it is a little bit different from Autumn and Auburn. It has a darker redder tone where Autumn and Auburn is more orangey, kind of that caramelly color. So I am really happy that these two won and will be able to ink them. The next category of colors was kind of a maroon red tone. I included a shimmer ink just to see how the votes would be cast and the shimmer ink is Waringal's Queen of Hearts. Then we have Ferris Wheel Press Steeped Umber and lastly IWI's White Dew. The winner of this was actually IWI White Dew and I was very surprised by that. I had kind of already put it in my mind that Ferris Wheel Press Deep Umber was going to win and might have already assigned that color to a pen. So what I'm actually going to do is ink another two pens in this group of colors. So I will choose something for IWI, but I am pretty dead set on using Steeped Umber. So here I'm showing how nice it would look to be inked in my Pilot Custom 823 Amber. While I was waiting for the votes to be cast on my Instagram stories, I did a few writing samples. I knew I really wanted to ink my Pilot Custom 823 and it was going to come down to how did the ink come out of the nib. And so I did some writing samples of the top three browns I was really hoping to win. And that's why I settled on Steeped Umber even before the votes came in. My next category of browns are a cool brown tone and I have only two picks here. I have Robert Oster, Muddy Sand, and Waringal's The Song of Reed Autumn. The winner was The Song of Reed Autumn. It is a lighter shade than Muddy Sand. I would say it's maybe like a tone lighter. I had one color I didn't include in the voting because I knew I was going to ink it, and it was Montverde's Pumpkin Cake. It was the only color of its kind in all of my ink samples and I am going to be inking that in my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Kiku. Getting into some color now, I had three selections of green. I have here, excuse my pronunciation, Roarer and Klinger Alt Goldgroom, Kiono Oto's Kokeiro, and Ferris Wheel Press Peter Moss. I was also biased in this trio of colors and my personal favorite was actually Kiono Oto Kokeiro. The winner though was was the Ferris Wheel Press Peter Moss. And since I had my personal favorite and the winning choice was different, I'll be inking two of these greens in my pens. Continuing with some colors, next I have two yellows. I have one of them already inked in my Sailor Mignonettes and that's why I have the pen out here, just to show that the first choice was Kyono Oto Yamabuki Iro and the second was Kakimori's Totori. At the beginning of the voting, Yamabuki Ira was leading, but towards the end, once I tallied everything up, I was very surprised to see that Kakimori Totori took the lead and won. If Yamabuki Iro had won, I would have kept it in my Magnonets pen, but since I'm going to have to change out the ink, I've decided to use the Magnonets to hold a green Koke Iro, and I will use my clear demonstrator to hold Kakimori's Totori. After I picked the winning inks, I started to assign which pen would get which ink and this view was so satisfying to see and have all the ink swatches out. This really got me excited for fall. 
This next part of the video is going to take a huge chunk as I'm not speeding up any of the writing. So I hope you just sit back, relax, and enjoy.
enjoyed seeing the process of selecting inks and if you took part in voting on my Instagram, thank you for all of your wonderful preferences. This was really fun to put together and interact with all of you. I'd love to hear if you would have picked a different ink, what your combination of colors would have been. And I hope this excites you for the upcoming fall season. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.